On this week's DAS tutorial, we are going to be looking at the DeForce system in DAS Studio. Before we get started, go ahead and be sure to click the like button if you get something out of this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my uploads. Also, um, I posted links below in the comments to all of the assets that I've used in this one if you want to follow along with the exact assets that I'm using. Uh, if you want to use the links that I've provided, I'll get a small commission if you make a purchase from those, so that is a great way to support my channel. So today we're going to be looking at DeForce. DeForce is a physics engine that Daz uses in order to realistically simulate uh, clothing and other items. So DeForce is not active for every single asset, so if you want to follow along with this, be sure that you're using a DeForce enabled asset um, as you're following along. Um, so the figure that I am using today is Zhang from Renderosity and the uh, clothing that I am using is short caftan. Um, and again, I've provided links for those in the comments below. All right, so I've got, already got my figure loaded in, my texture is applied, and she is dressed. If you need help figuring that out, be sure to check out my beginner tutorial series, and that'll get you up to speed. Um, but the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place my figure in a pose. So I'm going to double click her. Uh, let's take a look at my poses. And I'm going to pick something kind of dramatic, like I'm going to do a dancing pose. There we go. And again, something that will um, that'll make the uh, her garments, her uh, uh, her her clothing move a lot. So I'm going to pick this one where she's kind of leaning back. So by default, um, any clothing that you apply to the object kind of uh, forms to it based on their skeletal mesh. Um, which doesn't always work 100%, especially when you're using very loose flowing clothing like this. Like you can see where it comes down from the arms. It looks a little bit awkward. So they do a pretty good job mostly. But again, yeah, with some, uh, with some clothing, it just looks a little bit weird and not 100% accurate. Um, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of how to apply DeForce physics. And then in a future video, we're going to start uh, getting a little bit more under the hood. And, uh, and playing with some of, the, uh, some of the parameters that you can manipulate to get different looks. So you can apply gravity or wind force or lots of different stuff. But right now we're just gonna keep it basic. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select her clothing. So I'm gonna select my short caftan. And over, uh, you should have a, um, um, a tab over on the left called simulation settings. And Make sure you have the DeForce engine selected. It should be selected by default, but if it isn't, just click up there and select it. And over on the left, we have the different parameters that we can that we can manipulate. We have environment, um, where you can apply gravity and air resistance, and then simulation, where we can you know uh, do some more some more fine tuning. Like I said, I'm going to get into those in a future video, but right now I'm just going to show you how to apply just a basic uh, uh, DeForce uh, physics in, uh, on our uh, on our character. All right, before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and create a camera, and I'm going to do a before and after render just so we can get a really good look of, uh, of what it looks like. So I'm going to speed this up real quick while I get my camera set in place. There we go, and as you can see, I've also put a spotlight on our character just to improve our lighting a little bit. I'm not doing a you know crazy lighting setup, not doing three point or anything, and um, the lighting actually looks surprisingly good. It's creating a nice rim glow, so I am actually pretty happy with that just single spotlight lighting setup. All right, now I'm going to show you how to apply DeForce, and it is super super simple. So I'm going to go ahead and um, select our uh, DeForce clothing. Oops, not all. There we short caftan, excellent. And I'm going to hit simulate. And so this is going to apply physics to our clothing object, which uh, depending on your system is, is probably gonna take a few minutes. So again, I'm gonna speed this part up. And actually before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, test render. All right, so in order to apply the DeForce physics, I'm going to go ahead and select our clothing object in DeForce. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and select our DeForce clothing item. 
and then I'm going to hit the simulate button up at the top right corner of the simulation settings pane. Um, so depending on your system this might take a few minutes so I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up so we can see the finished product. There we go and that is our final scene with the force physics applied and mine took a grand total of about three and a half minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the render button on this one and then we'll do an AB comparison. Alright, and here is our before uh, deforce was applied picture. So you can see that as it's trying to follow the skeletal mesh, everything uh, is like, it's like stuck to our character. It's kind of, you know, tied down to our, to our individual joints and body parts, uh, which is making the textures become really stretched out. It's almost like, it's like silly putty, like it's stretching the images out. And then when I go to my deforce picture, there's with deforce applied, so now everything is hanging more naturally. Uh, you see when she stretches her arm out, the sleeve isn't tied to her lower wrist, but rather it kind of glides up her arm a little bit so it doesn't stretch the textures out and everything just hangs more naturally. Let me go back to uh, Daz one more time and I'll kind of pan around a little bit so we can see that from a couple of different angles. So you can see very, very realistic physics and gravity applied to it now. So that uh, will give another air of authenticity and realism to your renders. So again, whenever you do this, make sure that your, uh, that your um, um, objects that you're using are DeForce enabled. And um, so it should tell you whenever you, uh, when, when, whenever you buy something, like I'll show you in the store real quick. There we go. So this is the Renderosity store where I uh, uh, where I purchased my short caftan for G8F. And as you'll see, it says Deforce right in the product description. So any Deforce objects that you apply should say that clearly when you buy it. But uh, that'll that'll do it for today. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And check out the links below for all the models that I've used today. And that'll about do it for this one. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or uh, suggestions for future videos, just leave me a comment below. And I'll uh, try to reply to those as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.